How to make a camphor quilt in association with the Daylight Company. Camphor is a traditional Indian embroidery technique. Layers of old saris are stitched together to form bedspreads or cushions. We have used old sheets rather than batting in our camphor quilt project to evoke the traditional drapey feel of camphor pieces and reflect this heritage. Because the colourful panels of the camphor quilt are fastened together with rows of different coloured stitches, we're using a slimline floor lamp from the Daylight Company to help improve visibility and definition of the small stitches on the busy prints. The pattern uses quilt blocks of 5.5 by 11 inch rectangles. Start your camphor quilt by cutting your rectangles. Place two panels with right sides facing together and pin along the long edge. Machine stitch along this long edge, removing your pins as you go. Press the seam open. We're using a pressing tool for our video, but it's fine just to use your regular iron. Stitch two more rectangles together, then lay them right sides together with your original pair so the prints are at right angles. Pin the two blocks together, then machine stitch them in place with a quarter inch seam allowance, removing your pins as you go. Make more 4x4 four four blocks. Lay your 4x4 four four blocks together with right sides facing. Pin together and machine stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance. Press your new seam open. Repeat this process joining 4x4 four four blocks until you have the quilt size you need. Keeping with camphor tradition, we're filling our quilt with layers cut from an old bed sheet. Cut two panels from your sheet using the patchwork front as a guide to the size you need. Layer your sheet panels on top of each other and then lay the patchwork on top with the right side facing up. Add a few quilt pins to hold your three layers together. We'll take these out later once we've added our camphor embroidery stitches. We're fastening the three layers together by working blocks of long running stitches across one of the rectangles in each pair. This is our camphor embroidery. Thread a contrasting colour of cotton perlay thread into your needle. You want to choose a colour that will be clearly visible over the fabric print that you're going to be stitching on. Secure your thread behind your quilt with a knot. We're covering the back of our camphor quilt later, so there's no need to worry about how messy the back looks now. Work long running stitches, gathering your fabric and pulling through several stitches at a time for, for speed. Once you've added your camphor embroidery to one of the rectangles in each pair of rectangles, you can remove the safety pins you were using to hold your fabric layers together, as the camphor stitches will now do this job for you. Use your patchwork panel as a size guide to cut your backing fabric. Lay the patchwork together with the backing fabric with right sides facing together. Pin around the four edges of your quilt. Machine stitch around the edges, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. 
you want to leave a small gap on one of the short edges unstitched, which we'll use for turning through our quilt. Trim the four corners, making sure you don't snip into your seam, and turn your quilt through so its right side will now be facing out. Press your quilt and then pin and hand sew the turning hole closed. The backing is now attached all around the outside edge of your camper quilt, but the backing fabric will still sag down, particularly this is a problem if you've got a really large quilt. So we're going to secure the backing fabric by using a few square or reef knots across the quilt. Take a double length of perlé cotton and sew a small stitch from the right side of the quilt through to the back and up to the front again. Tie the ends together with a simple reef or a square knot and trim your loose thread ends to give you a tidy tassel effect that will also secure your backing fabric to the quilt. We're adding a single knot at the centre of each of the fabric rectangles which we haven't worked the canther embroidery on. Repeat the knot, alternating the direction of the thread ends to give you different effects across your quilt. Use different colours of perlé cotton too to add to the colourful tasseled finish of your camphor quilt. We hope you've enjoyed learning how to make a camphor quilt with Gathered. For more great craft tutorials, check out our website www.gathered.how